Welcome to Saturday Art Class. Welcome to Saturday Art Class with Eben. In today's class, we are going to be learning a very lovely craft. Look at what we are learning today. In today's class, we'll be learning how to create our lovely Chinese lantern. So this is a Chinese lantern. We can actually use this at home for a functional art around Christmas, around any celebration around us, even on our birthday. We can add a kind of a bulb inside and depending on the kind of paper you use, the light is going to reflect out of the paper and uh, this will create a lovely effect at home. So take your time, watch this video from the beginning to the end and um, if possible, watch the video again and again. I'll be right back with all the steps you need to create this lovely Chinese lantern. I'll be right back. Welcome back. So, what are the materials we need to produce our lovely Chinese paper lantern? The first one is our scissors, the second one is our gum, the third one is our stapler, and if possible, you can also use your cutter. So, let me keep them aside, then I introduce our paper. So, I use different types of paper for this. This is a soft paper. And um, this is a card. So I will be using a paper and I'll be using a card. What are the difference between the two? A paper is soft while a card is what thicker. So this is a paper and um, when we talk about a card, a card is what is harder. And then we have the last one which is a board. So we have board, we have paper and um, we have card. So for today's class I'll be using two out of this material which is what a card and a what and a paper so what am i going to be doing the first thing i cut my my paper my card into this shape that is um, if you get a4 paper that is if you get your a4 paper just cut your a4 paper in just cut a um, little out of your a4 paper this is um, a4 size so I cut just little out of it to form this size. So when I do that, I'm going to roll this back. Is it to form um, what shape is this? This is a cylinder. Then I staple it. I can use my, I can, apart from stapler, I can also use uh, gum to do it, but stapler will be better for this. So the next thing I'm going to be doing right now is to now take any paper I want to use. So this time, um, you can use your A4 paper and then you can also use any type of paper. So it can be bigger and um, it can also be smaller. So for this, um, if I use my A4 paper, at least it's taller than my, it's taller than this little. So this is fine. So this is not bad at all to also use. So what am I going to do? I'm going to fold this paper into two, fold into two. Make sure you fold it in equal proportion. Fold this paper into two. So the moment I fold this into two, what am I going to do? I'm now going to cut this in motion. So I open my scissors wide. I press it down. One motion. One motion. A motion till the end. So mind your scissors as you are cutting and don't allow the scissors to injure you. So the next thing I'm going to do after cutting is to open my paper and I can apply my glue. So if I take my gum, I apply one, up, and I also apply down. So what am I going to do? So right now I'm going to apply this on top then apply this below so what am i going to do with this i'm going to turn this i'm going to make sure this is turned around 
リペイパー。I can also use my stapler to achieve this. Then with that, I form this. So, in case I don't want it to overlap, I can cut just little out of it. Maybe from this part. In case you don't want it to overlap, then with that, I have this shape. Then after this, what next? The next thing I'm going to be doing is to look for different types of paper to form like mine. You can see that there is a line attached to each round. Then with this now, I can now form my, my gallants. Hello, so. Eh? So you can get a split of paper like this then what do you do with this you apply your gum around it and after that you apply it on it round this is it round so one the next one i also apply Then, if possible, you can make it in form of two colors. Let me use red because I still have more. I have a lot of space to apply it. And then, if you observe, it's not making sense. You can um, use just one. Maybe let me make it overlap. Yes, overlapping. So I, I overlap the first color. And the second color, you have to apply your glue well so that um, it stays. Then, with this now, what next? I'm going to be applying my holder. So, this is what I'm going to be using to hold it. So, I apply color on top. I want to make it come from inside. So, inside one. Yours can be outside and then anyhow you want it, it's going to come out well. Paint out. So if you are using Ugum, you have to hold it for at least five to five seconds to about ten seconds. Then it will stay immediately. I think that is not bad so with this now i have actually produced my lovely paper gallant there's a hole inside and um, i had my bob and then with this it can be lightened so remember all the materials we used to form this this is lovely awesome and i would like you to give it a try right away so I'll be right back with more videos on how to produce some of these next week, same time with eBay. Thank you very much. Have a lovely weekend.